Have you ever looked at a map of the world and noticed how the continents seem to fit together like puzzle pieces? It's not a coincidence. Our continents are not fixed, they move. This fascinating phenomenon is known as continental drift. This is the remarkable theory of continental drift. It tells us that the land masses we see today were once united in a single supercontinent called Pangaea and have been slowly drifting apart for millions of years, reshaping the face of our planet. This movement is driven by incredible forces deep within the Earth, such as the heat from the planet's core. The Earth's outer layer, called the lithosphere, is broken into several large plates that float on the semi-fluid asthenosphere beneath which acts almost like a conveyor belt. These plates constantly move, albeit very slowly, at a rate of a few centimetres per year, which might seem insignificant but has monumental effects over time. This movement, known as plate tectonics, is responsible for shaping the Earth's surface, creating mountains, volcanoes and earthquakes, which are all part of the dynamic nature of our planet. The theory of continental drift revolutionized our understanding of the planet thanks to pioneers like Alfred Wegener. It helps us explain the distribution of fossils, rocks and mountain ranges across continents, showing us how interconnected our world truly is. It allows us to understand the forces that shape our world and predict how it might continue to change in the future, giving us a glimpse into the Earth's ongoing evolution. Around 300 million years ago, long before the dinosaurs roamed the Earth, all the continents were joined together in a single giant landmass called Pangaea. This supercontinent was a colossal piece of Earth's history, shaping the planet in ways we are still discovering today. Imagine a world with one enormous ocean surrounding this massive continent. This ocean, vast and seemingly endless, was a defining feature of the planet during that time. This ocean is known as Panthalassa, a name that evokes the grandeur and mystery of Earth's ancient past. Pangaea was a strange and wonderful place, filled with landscapes that were both alien and familiar. The climate was much different from what we experience today, with conditions that would be unrecognizable to us now. The interior of Pangaea was likely very dry, resembling vast deserts, while the coastal regions were probably much warmer and more humid, teeming with life. The animals and plants that lived on Pangaea were also very different from what we see today, with ecosystems that were unique to this supercontinent. For example, there were giant insects and amphibians that no longer exist, creatures that thrived in the unique conditions of Pangaea. The formation of Pangaea had a profound impact on life on Earth, altering habitats and ecosystems on a massive scale. The merging of continents led to the extinction of many species as new competitors and predators emerged, changing the balance of life. However, it also created opportunities for new species to evolve and spread across the supercontinent, leading to a burst of evolutionary activity that shaped the future of life on Earth. Around 200 million years ago, the supercontinent Pangaea began to break apart, initiating a monumental shift in the Earth's geological history. This wasn't a sudden event, but rather a slow and gradual process that took millions of years, reshaping the Earth's surface over an immense span of time. The supercontinent eventually split into two smaller supercontinents, Laurasia in the north and Gondwana in the south, each with its own unique geological features. Laurasia consisted of what is now North America, Europe and Asia, forming the northern landmass. Gondwana included South America, Africa, Antarctica, Australia and India, making up the southern landmass. This separation marked a significant change in the Earth's geography and climate, influencing the planet's environmental conditions. As the continents drifted apart, new oceans formed, and the Earth's climate patterns shifted dramatically altering weather systems and ocean currents. The breakup of Pangaea is a testament to the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our planet, driven by the forces of plate tectonics. It shows that even the seemingly permanent features of the Earth, like continents, can change dramatically over geological time, transforming landscapes and ecosystems. These changes have had a profound impact on the evolution of life, 
leading to the diversification of species and the creation of the world we see today with its rich biodiversity and complex ecosystems. As Pangaea continued to split apart, a new ocean began to form between Laurasia and Gondwana. This ocean, which we now call the Atlantic, started as a narrow rift, gradually widening over millions of years. Imagine the incredible forces at play as molten rock from the Earth's mantle rose up to fill the gap between the separating continents, creating new ocean floor. This process, known as seafloor spreading, is still happening today, pushing the Americas further away from Europe and Africa at a rate of about a few centimetres per year. The formation of the Atlantic Ocean had a significant impact on global climate patterns. The new ocean currents influenced temperature and precipitation patterns, leading to the development of distinct climatic zones on different continents. Section 5. South America charts its own course. While the Atlantic Ocean was opening up, South America began to separate from Africa. This separation was a gradual process, with the two continents slowly drifting apart over millions of years. As they moved further away from each other, the South Atlantic Ocean continued to widen. The separation of South America and Africa had a significant impact on the evolution of life on both continents. Isolated from each other, plants and animals on each landmass evolved along different paths, leading to the unique biodiversity we see today. For example, the monkeys of South America evolved independently from the monkeys and apes of Africa and Asia. Section 6. Australia's journey down under. Meanwhile, on the other side of the world, Australia was making its own journey. Still attached to Antarctica, Australia began to drift northward, separating from what is now South America and Africa. This journey would eventually lead Australia to its current location in the South Pacific. As Australia drifted northward, it moved into warmer waters, leading to the development of its unique ecosystems, including the Great Barrier Reef. The isolation of Australia from other continents also allowed its unique flora and fauna to flourish, resulting in a high degree of endemism, meaning many species are found nowhere else on Earth. Section 7, India's Collision Course. India, once part of Gondwana, was on a collision course with Asia. After breaking away from Africa and Madagascar, India drifted northward at a relatively fast pace. This northward journey would eventually lead to one of the most dramatic geological events in Earth's history. Around 50 million years ago, India collided with Asia. This colossal collision, which is still ongoing today, created the Himalayan mountain range, the tallest on Earth. The immense pressure generated by the collision continues to uplift the Himalayas, making them grow taller even today. Section 8. The Arctic takes shape. While these dramatic events were unfolding, the Arctic Ocean was also taking shape. As North America continued to drift westward, it rotated away from Europe, opening up the Arctic Basin. This process, which began around 100 million years ago, led to the formation of the Arctic Ocean we know today. The formation of the Arctic Ocean had a significant impact on global climate. The new ocean currents influenced temperature and salinity patterns, contributing to the development of the Arctic's unique environment. The Arctic Ocean plays a crucial role in regulating global climate and its ongoing changes due to climate change are a cause for concern. Section 9. A world in constant motion. The continents have been on the move for millions of years and they continue to drift today. The Atlantic Ocean is still widening and the Pacific Ocean is shrinking. The Himalayas are still rising and the San Andreas Fault in California is a constant reminder of the powerful forces at work beneath our feet. Continental drift is a slow but relentless process that has shaped our planet over millions of years. It is a testament to the dynamic nature of the Earth and the incredible forces that operate within it. Understanding continental drift allows us to appreciate the interconnectedness of Earth systems and the profound impact that geological processes have on life. Section 10. 
the future of drift. What does the future hold for the continents? Scientists predict that the Atlantic Ocean will continue to widen while the Pacific Ocean will continue to shrink. Australia will continue to drift northward and Africa may eventually split apart along the East African Rift Valley. Some scientists believe that in about 250 million years the continents will come together again to form a new supercontinent, often called Pangaea Proxima. This supercontinent would have a profound impact on Earth's climate and the evolution of life. However, the Earth's future is not set in stone. The movement of the continents is influenced by many factors and it is impossible to predict with certainty what the future holds. One thing is for sure, the Earth is a dynamic and ever-changing planet and the continents will continue to drift for millions of years to come.